Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey, thank you so much for joining us on uh, what I feel is one of America's real deal icons out there. This, and, and as we walk around this car, you'll see I start to get all excited and I smile a lot. You know, I love cars. I'm sure you guys love cars as well. But like this car here is different than a lot of other cars we had. First off, this is a real deal in Pala Super Sport and it's matching numbers as well and it's loaded with options. So matching numbers, options and things like that. And it's a convertible. How you doing? All right. So it's restored the way it's supposed to be. It's an original ermine white car. So it's coded for that. And what I like to do a lot of times is talk about uh, restoration quality. So let's come up here for a second before we even talk about the quality of the paint and look at the mug of this car. Okay. Three piece bumper. It's all done nicely. Okay. New grill, new emblems, surrounds for the headlights and that, those kinds of things. We were just finishing up the restoration. We had a couple parts that were on back order. I wanted to get the video out there on the car because it's a great arrival. It's just, it's just in time to enjoy the good weather. And I think when you see that the two or three small parts that we're waiting on are worth having the video out there, uh, it'll be great. So let's keep rolling around. Okay, so uh, what I do like to do, white's really hard to show uh, the quality of paint. In this case here, um, it's even harder, but you can see that it's super smooth and super shiny. And we've show waxed it in a detail that uh, it's been wet sanded and buffed. And it's just a car that you could you could go out and really have some great fun in. It's restored very authentically. We can change a couple things on it if you want to, and that's kind of up to you. You let us know how that is. If you wanted to get, for instance, say, rally wheels and maybe some uh, BF Goodrich radial TAs, we can do that. We can put red line tires on it, just little stuff like that if you want to dress it up. But this emblem here uh, is the one that's on order, so if you look, it's not as nice as, say, this emblem here. Come on up here for a second and see how beautiful this piece is. And I didn't want you to think that the car wasn't worthy of it. Uh, but you can see, once that's on there, it's really great. But they happen to be on back order for quite some time. So we should have that any day. It'll be on there by the time you take delivery. All right, so you got the SS inserts inside here, the machined look, all right, inside the moldings, all right. Door fit is very nice and it just makes that nice, restored, Feel. So these fender skirts right here, they're removable. And it's kind of nice because it gives you two completely different looks. You can take this off, leave it as it is, or when you throw on some rally wheels uh, that a lot of people do on these cars, again, another completely different look. You have different cars uh, throughout the year. You can even throw red line tires on it and look great. But anyway, these right here, they go in the trunk, easy to take off. But this is the way it came, so we like to keep it that way. All right, so keep walking around, and you see the nice call-outs that are on here. You see like the taillights are working the way they're supposed to be. The correct tips are on there. This machined panel in here. This is expensive stuff, man. Price this stuff out. It is really expensive. If you had to restore the back of this car, and I'm talking about like, say, the bumper, uh, the trim, taillight lens. This right here, all of this can be $1,500 just for uh, some of this stuff here. Maybe even closer to two grand by the time you add all these emblems and all these pieces in there. So uh, as we walk around, you'll see there's a lot of money spent on it, all right? Okay, so let's peek under the hood because not only is it a great looking car on the outside, it's restored authentically under the hood and I want you to see that. All right. This is great, okay? All right, so really the engine's detailed properly and it's correct and it's a matching numbers engine. So it's the original investment grade style of car, meaning it was original super sport convertible and you got that there. And you also have uh, painted correct satin black underneath the hood and the fenders like it's supposed to be, all right? Battery topper on here, which looks really nice, okay? The only thing I'm waiting on again is a couple of small things. I'm waiting on the correct AC decal uh, for the car. So once that's on there, uh, that'll really dress the engine compartment up. Got the correct generator still on it. You see what I mean? This is like an unmolested car. Still got the OptiClean bottle right here, all right? Correct fan shroud, all these little tiny things. Uh, that make for a great restoration. Windshield washer fluid looks really nice. Just little stuff like that. And uh, it's detail stuff, but it's what makes for uh, a really great car. Okay? Now, before I close the hood, I glazed over something and you didn't stop me. Well, maybe you did stop me and I didn't hear you, but this is what's important. This right here, air conditioning. The AC works in this car. This is original air conditioned car. Keep in mind in 62, air conditioning was probably, uh, you know, maybe 20% or in between 10 and 20% of the price of the car. If you had to put air conditioning in a car today, today's modern car, let's say is $40,000. Uh, would you pay four or $5,000 for air conditioning? No, 
So that's why so few of these cars had that. And you know, super sports are meant to be fast, and and so people didn't order anything that they thought would weigh it down. But in this case here, this car runs really well. Everything's been rebuilt and redone. It has a little more power than it did from the factory. So having the AC on is nice too, because if you're gonna take uh, another couple out or um, you know, take the family out or what have you, it's nice to be able to throw everybody in and if it gets to be a really hot day or rains or whatever, you can throw the top up, all right, because it's power as well, throw the top up and uh, flip the AC on. Okay, let's go check out the inside. Let's check out the detail here. All right, cool, like check this out. This is nice. Yes, this is a big trunk, but it's a big trunk for a reason because you can go away for a weekend if you wanted to. Get a couple pieces of soft luggage, throw them in here. You could throw the whole family's luggage in here as well. It's got the jacking decals in here as a spare tire, okay? The jack and everything is in the car too. You say, well, what's the big deal? Why are you rambling on about a spare tire? Well, again, 99% of the cars that come here don't have a spare tire, jack, and all that stuff. The trunk isn't detailed like it's supposed to be, and this is really done nicely. I think you'd really like it. We can probably get a, mat, uh, a spare tire cover if you wanted to, and just finish off the trunk in here. Just ask us to do that, and we'll get that for you before uh, we ship it to you. Anyway, this looks great in here. That's what I love so much about these cars is they're great beach cars, they're great uh, vacation cars, they're great anything kind of cars where you just want to change your world a little bit. You know, where everybody's running, 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 texting, cell phone, uh, Facebook, email, Twitter, whatever. I mean, we're digitally bombarded here. This is so analog, man. It's what it does is takes you back to a different time. We just get in the car, hit the key, and go for a drive. All right, so come join me inside here. All right, so some, uh, so we do have the correct uh, Super Sport mat on uh, on order, and that's in, in uh, back order, sorry. But the dash itself is all beautifully done. So for instance, like this car here has uh, a full set of factory gauges. It has the original style AM Delco radio in it, right? This here has uh, the air conditioning system so that you can advance the way you want, adjust them. Okay. Those kinds of things, that's a cover for that right there. And then you can adjust everything here as well. All right. Um, has a clock in it. It's showing 28,731 miles. Don't know if it's original or not. They claim it to be, uh, but you know, I, I don't have anything to authenticate that. One nice thing is we got buckets. We got a little console here as well. Okay. This has a power top. Okay. All that works beautifully. The top's in great shape as well. And look how stylish this dash is, man. The grab handle there with the Impala SS callouts. All that cool stuff is there. And uh, it makes for just a, I don't know. That's why I like getting in these cars, because you know what? It's just a different world. How about I start it for you so you can hear what it sounds like? All right, so let's close up the video with this question. How many of these cars are left? Hear me out for a second. Real deal Impala Supersport. Way less of these built than the regular Impalas, right? Okay. Throw in matching numbers. Show, throw in convertible. Throw in factory air conditioning. I mean, seriously, this could be the only one of its kind left in existence, and it's a pretty cool piece when you think about it. Anyway, it's a beautifully restored car. It drives wonderfully. You're going to love it. And uh, more importantly, you're going to do this when you drive it. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000 and we'll tell you all about this real deal in Palace Super Sport Convertible.